Um, I just wanted to focus um, on some of Jesus's last words on the cross. So I'm just going to read from John chapter 19, verses 28 to 30. So later, knowing that all was now completed and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, it is finished. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. And the bit I wanted to focus on was, it is finished. And uh, it comes from the Greek um, verb, uh, I think teleo, if that's how you pronounce it, which means to complete, um, to accomplish, to bring to an end. So what Jesus was really saying when he said it is finished is, I have set, I have accomplished what I set out to do. Um, that it's And it's actually written in the perfect tense, and it means to tell us, die, I think, but basically what happened is still has an effect on today. Um, and so when Jesus died, he wasn't just saying it is finished for people's um, sins, people's wrong things in the past, that it still has an effect for us today and everybody around us today. And that's that's the good news of Jesus, that um, when Jesus said it is finished, that once and for all, all of our sins, all of the things that we have done wrong, were nailed to the cross and there they stay. Um, and for me, that is just so freeing. That is incredible. And I cannot, yeah, I don't have the words to express how grateful I am to God, to Jesus for all that he did. Um, and that it wasn't a mistake that he died on the cross, that it might have looked like that to the disciples at the time. But we, but, but we know that Jesus fulfilled what he set out to do and that we get to live in his freedom and in his grace and in his mercy today. Um, and so we just let's let's remember that as we pray for our friends, our family, our communities, that and Jesus did set out and he did complete what he set out to do. Um, and it is finished that the price is paid. So, Lord, I have heard of your fame. I stand in awe of your deeds, O Lord. Renew them in our day. In our time, make them known. In wrath, remember mercy. Amen.